for a special guest. Right. We have cool. Tim Moon. I believe Tim Moon is a historian in his own right and uh, knows a lot about the history of this uh, music in this area and has a lot of amazing stories. Can you talk about being a folk musician and what the differences and what attracts you and, and what draws you to being a folk musician? Well, in my opinion, um, folk musicians are um, people that sing about life things. It's also songs that people can sing along with. I've always liked that style of acoustic guitar, and harmonica, and the mandolins, and plus the message because it's stories that are about life, and not only as life as an American, but also life as a Christian and stuff. So I feel that folk musicians have a lot of problems. That's why I consider myself a folk musician. You've had a lot of interesting experiences with a lot of interesting people. Like You've had these really strong people come into your life. I've never really met anybody who's who's spent time with and befriended people who have have used their gifts so strongly and have a strong message. And why do you think this is? That I have bailed of myself. Like I would hear that um, Phil Keggy or Larry Norman or Barry Bryant was coming to San Jose. So I would do everything that I can to be calling a concert promoter or calling the church where they were going to be and say, hey, I'm available, my car is available to pick these people up at the airport and take them to the hotel and then take them to the hotel, to the venue. And so that's the way that it started was that, you know, and then because of Randy Stonehill and Larry Norman and uh, different ones living in San Jose, and a lot of times they would call me and I knew all their favorite places too. So it was kind of like, Larry always said, you're, you're just a great guy to hang out with. Well, you know, it's like, you know, because I know all their favorite things. And that's one thing I learned about these artists and what their favorite foods were and what their favorite drinks were. And I always, always supply, you know, try to, you know, cater to their needs. So if you had a dream of what would be the ultimate experience as far as music for you, what, what would you, what would you, what would it be? What would it look like? Well, I'm, I'm kind of doing doing that already. Oh. <laughs> you know, I mean, I have an offer right now from Phil Keggy to come to his studio in Nashville and do some actual real professional recording. Excellent. And have Phil Keggy play guitar and Chuck Gerard playing um, keyboards. Well, keep us posted okay. when your CD comes out because okay. we would love to hear it okay. and um, and love to talk about it and and we look forward to it. next okay. time when you come to visit us. And Those all are next time. <laughs> I hope so. Well, thank you to you and your family for hosting. And thank you. Taking thank you care for of me. Here. And, you know, give me yeah. a place to lay my head. And stuff. Thank you guys for helping out. Thank you, Tim. You're welcome.